Welcome to a correction video. Recently I made a video about the 178 master combination padlock where I told you that it is not susceptible for the usual bypass technique that you know from the 175 and that I have found a new method that exploits this empty chamber where you stick in a very thin piece of sheet metal to access the lever like this and to push it out of the way. The comment from uh, a user who asked me whether I have removed the plate that sits usually in this chamber let me think. And it is not true that this chamber is empty because we have this little plate in here and it is also not true that the master 178 cannot be bypassed with the usual bypass technique and I will explain to you both in greater detail just in a second. Okay, first of all I want to show you my new bypass technique again that um, I featured in my previous video on the 178. You have to apply it on the side with a pin, then you use a screwdriver and hammer it in at around wheel 1. This opens up a little gap here and then you can stick in your thin piece of sheet metal. So lock is locked up, all zero would be the right coat. And so this should go around the corner and find the lever. Now it's in. I think now I'm past. Oh no, not I'm not past the lever. I'm right at the lever. Yeah, and here it opens. But it was a little bit harder than you might expect from um, a big chamber just being empty. And of course, this is not the case. It's not empty. If we take this poor example of the 178, this chamber is not empty because in here goes this springy plate with four arms which push against the wheels. So it's in like this. And these arms push against the wheels so that they make clicks and that they stay at whole numbers and that when turning one wheel all the others will, uh, will stay still. And I believe this plate here is, as you can see it here, also in that lock. And this explains why it's actually harder to get to the lever than you might expect um, from an empty chamber. Um, and in the process of trying to find the right place and always sticking it in and removing it, I must have deformed or somehow destroyed this plate here. And now it's maybe a little bit easier than it was originally with a plate intact. And you can also hear that. I think this is not the normal, the usual sound you expect from a master combination padlock 178 or 175. I think this plate has suffered from my attacks with my thin piece of sheet metal. And also, when you look at the wheels, they are actually not as clicky as you would expect them to be. They are pretty loose and also sometimes another wheel turns when turning the current wheel. So this tells me that I have a little bit mangled, a little bit destroyed this poor little plate here. But this makes it possible for a thin piece of sheet metal to access the lever and open up the lock. So that was that. And now to the possibility of decoding, or not decoding, sorry, of bypassing this lock with a usual bypass technique. When I tried bypassing the 178, I had a, a old decoding knife which was quite mangled and therewith a little bit thicker and here is a new example and I was used to stick in the knife like here on the 170 
ah, other way around. Like here on the 175, all the way in. So I was thinking that this is the right uh, depth, the decoding tool should go in, and then we can push on the lever, or lift the lever, and open up the lock. Yeah, you will not get it in as deep as you have just seen, but it's sufficient when you stick it in just a little bit. So it's much harder, it requires a very thin decoding knife, but oh, look at that. I've never reached in that far, and of course, oh no, it's the wrong, uh, you have to do it, yeah, you have to do it on the side with, with not the pin. So, let's try it. So, yeah, it's, it's much harder. Tolerances are definitely tighter. Yeah, so that's the usual deflection I get and that's what I initially thought is the reason for that this lock cannot be bypassed at all with that method, but if you really try hard you should get it in, yeah. You will get it in that far, at least I can get it in that far, but that's just enough. So release the tension on the locking bolt and only slightly push down the decoding tool and then the lock will open up. So this technique on the left side of the wheel always works. If you try to do it on the right side of the wheel, it only works when the right numbers is dialed in. So here you will get always deflected and you will never be able to uh, go under the lever, but at the right number, and that is zero here in this case, I have to hold it, you get it in. And then you can also open up the lock. So if you go in on the right side, you can decode the lock, you can find the right number, and you can easily bypass the lock. Why this is the case on the right side, I will show you on this example. And I managed to pull this plate off. Um, let me see. So, yeah, here you can see on the right side there is a flat part on the inner wheel. So here you can see the inner wheel. And this flat part has to be turned like that. And if all of these are turned like that, let's see if I can manage to do that without messing up the other wheels. If you manage to do this, um, the spring here will push down or pull down the lever and then the lock is open. So, oops. so now when we change it again, if you stick in your, your decoding knife, you will always get deflected on the right side because there is this um, inner wheel and you will get deflected like this but not when you've dialed in the right code because then there is enough space for your decoding knife to uh, slide in straight and then you can lift the lever. Okay, so now this is really it. Um, yeah, I was really thankful for the comment that um, has let me think um, a little bit more about these locks and I think now this is really uh, the full information that I can give you on the Master 178 and the Master 175. The 178 has definitely tighter tolerances but nonetheless it's possible to bypass it with a proper thin decoding knife on the left side of the wheel all the time, on the right side of the wheel only if you have dialed in the right number, which then of course also makes it possible for you to decode this lock.
Other than that, the new bypass technique that I showed you is not as easy to accomplish as I was thinking because this chamber is not free. There is this springy metal plate in here. But after a while, when you poke around with your thin piece of sheet metal, you will get it um, changed in a way that you can access the lever, and push on the lever and the lock will open up. Alright, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and decoding. Bye-bye.